Good evening, welcome to a brand new video. Today what I've got for you is something that has been requested a lot on the channel, both on Twitch and YouTube. Something I did on my second channel a long time ago. I say a long time, it's only like three months ago, but I thought I'd do it again. It is like a room tour gaming setup kind of video because a lot of you guys have been super interested. I'm kind of giving it all away. So let's stand here next to the, uh, the thermostat, which you're not allowed to touch. Don't touch it. I'm doing this on my iPhone, so I'm not entirely sure how to hold it. If I just cover the, the mic for that whole section, apologies. Um, but yeah, let's get into this video. All right, this will make life easier, holding it with the uh, rear-facing camera. So we start off with my door here. Now, that's just a really long Ethernet cable that kind of goes all the way around the room. Um, the one thing that we can't really do with this house that we live in, because it's a rented property, is like drill into walls. In old houses, we used to have this running through the walls and stuff, but uh, and like clipped onto the walls, but we're not really allowed to do this in this house, sadly, uh, because they've already got wiring in the walls. So, I mean, you didn't really need to know that, but I thought I'd tell you anyway, but I've got my door and my dressing gown on my door because you've got to have a dressing gown and it's got to be on the door, you know, easy access. Um, I guess we'll start with the bathroom. Not that anyone really cares about a bathroom, but I guess we can kind of have a look. It is a bit of a mess right now. Uh, the bathroom is, uh, but we've got my shower. It's actually a sick shower. It's like an overhead shower. I love it. It's uh, first time having like an overhead shower. We've got towel uh, radiated thing. Um, it's got towels on. We've got my sink. We've got me. What up? We've got my scales there. Fishy down to 110 kg. Feels good. Uh, we got my windowsill uh, with the toilet paper. Well, you know, you know, we hoard that out here. Um, and then we got like above the toilet with like a aftershave and that sort of stuff. Stuff that's not really important. The reason I've got two metal cups in here is because uh, I used to not be able to brush my teeth without uh, like rinsing water. I don't know why, it just mint taste used to be disgusting to me, but I've kind of like grown up a little bit now and it's all right now. Again, this toilet is a bit of a state, like it's just a bit messy. I do apologize. So we're just gonna leave this room now. And we're into like the main area of the room. So we start off on the left, we've got a deer, painting now I, the only reason why i got this is because i hit a deer the about two three months ago in my car well say i hit a deer we were driving up a road and the deer literally jumped out in front of my car i had zero time to stop and i had zero time to swerve and unfortunately took a big chunk of the left side of my front car out as well so i've got to get that replaced i've got to get a whole new front panel whole new front bumper it's going to be very expensive and yeah it's going to pay homage to to that so um and then we've got a bear one over there because it came as a two-pack so i thought you know what we'll get we'll get the bear one as well because it looks cool they've got crowns on i don't know we've got my wardrobes here uh but honestly what the the only reason really why i wanted this room um when we were moving in is because of the wardrobes i had to buy like railings for the last house we were in because there wasn't enough space for a wardrobe because in, instead of having one big room i had two small rooms so i had a railing and i hated it so finally we've got a wardrobe on the left side we've got um my drawers now these got battered up in the moving process so i kind of just shoved them in here because yeah i didn't want them like out in the room looking ugly uh we've got this side just got hats and shorts as well as my old uh, audio interface, which I'm keeping just in case I ever need it. We've got a stress controller, trust gaming headset box, uh, lens box. And then we've got my old Elgato, which I am now using as like a portable Elgato, which is re actually really cool. Uh, looking forward to uh, using this thing as like a portable kind of Elgato. Um, I'm kind of like building like a portable setup at the minute. Uh, and then above, we've just got like, uh, that's a heater, small heater for like a small room. Uh, when it gets cold, we've got a photo of my dog got some cards there we got like a duvet inside of my old washing basket and then we've got a overnight bag suitcase another bag up there and really boring but left side we've got like some creased up white shirts and some clothes and pretty much that's it uh then we've got the bed over here with my favorite bedding on it is a uh it's cat bedding i mean i like cats and dogs i'm not really a, a, a cat person i'm not a dog person i like them both uh but yeah like i, I own a cat at the minute that's her over there, it's a drawing of her. So um, yeah, I've got a cat bedding right now. <laughs> I know it's sad, all right, leave me alone. Uh, to the right, we've got my uh, bedside table, which also got chipped up in the moving process. We hired people to move for us and they did it everything for us and then kind of did a bad job. Uh, you'll find in my room, just hair bands everywhere. If you guys don't know, I've got long hair. So I, I tie it up in like a man bun. Um, so you'll just find those everywhere. Like I've got like a, another pack over here. 
because um, I always seem to either snap them or lose them. We've got TV remotes, got a drawing that Anne's made of Missy, which I think is great, bedside table, massage guns in there, and like a Gillette ball. And then we've got a super long iPhone cable that's on an extension lead so that it can reach over to my desk or it can, it can go over to the other side of my bed. Basically reaches around pretty much half the room. So yeah, it's actually really cool. And then we've got an Amazon Alexa over there and an Apple Watch charger. Uh, we've got a TV over here. Um, this TV, I think it's a 15 inch smart TV. Bro, like hella cheap, like 300 pounds max. Fantastic TV, 4K, great quality. I highly recommend it. It is a high sense TV. The same sort of thing from like LG or Samsung, you're paying a huge amount of money. So I'd say go cheap and get like a, a cheap, cheapo smart TV. Highly recommend it. We've got my backpack, it's a Bobby, Bobby Pro. Itani recommended it. Uh, I don't know, like that dude can be smart sometimes, so I trusted him. Uh, we've got a Virgin TV box. No jokes, please. Used to have a second PlayStation, but that's downstairs now. Uh, but that used to go down there. Uh, that just chills downstairs now with like, there's a screwdriver and stuff. Uh, and then we've got my laptop. It is a Razer Blade. Um, I don't really know the specs. It kind of just lives down there until I need to take it away with me. It's just for traveling mainly. Um, I used to have a MacBook. The only the, the, like the only reason why it's better than the MacBook mainly is because you can use OBS on a Windows laptop, and everything I do is through like OBS. It's really easy to record program. Sorry, really easy to to use recording program. Uh, puts everything in one track. That's what I use to record. Makes life easier for editing. So that's why I got a Windows laptop and sold my MacBook. Uh, we've got a tablet down there that I, I bought. This Samsung tablet. I'm not even kidding. Just for the Samsung Galaxy Fortnite skin. I don't use this thing very much at all. Um, I will start using it more. I just need to find a use for it mainly. And then we've just got like wires and cables. Um, this is like my charging station, to be honest. Um, and then we've got like the main set. I I'll show you behind the setup first. We've got a Trust Gaming chair, obviously. Shout out Trust Gaming. <laughs> there you go. We'll put that over there. We have got um, the wall of uh, igloo, I guess. Um, these are like panels that I found on Amazon. They're like plastic acrylic panels. Um, yeah, they're, they're like sturdy material. Uh, there's LED strips in between them, but they don't look good on camera, so I don't use them anymore. Um, then we've got the lights that do look good on camera. These are Philips Hue Go 2.0 lights. They're fantastic. They are wireless and wired. I just plug them in at all times because I don't want them losing charge halfway through a stream or something. Um, and they look great, to be honest. They look really good. You can uh, activate them via phone or one of them. This one's hooked up to Alexa. That one's not hooked up yet, but I can be like, Alexa. Turn on my light. There you go. And uh, it like lights up the whole thing. Usually there's not light protruding in from the window. Uh, so they both will light up like the whole like thing. They look really cool on camera. Um, so yeah, I like them a lot. Um, and that's pretty much it for the back. I know it kind of looks, on camera it looks awful. You know, the, the top's not even done and it only stretches so far. That perfectly like fits the frame of the camera. So that's why it's only like that. I didn't want to like spend loads of time uh sawing down and and things like that like specific uh tiles i just wanted to like kind of have it so it was on camera well enough um but then we've got the actual setup which is right here uh again i've got a cat wallpaper i'm not only a cat person all right i do like dogs i promise you i used to have two dogs but yeah i have like a cat wallpaper i guess we'll kind of go from the back to the front on the back here we've got my Beats for like when I'm out walking or running or at the gym, uh, same with these. Why do I have two pairs of the exact same beats, just different colors? Well, good question. I'm not a very smart human being sometimes. We went on holiday a few months ago and I forgot those beats. They were the ones I was supposed to take with me and I forgot them. So in the airport, I had to buy a new pair of beats because I had no headphones, no earphones. So I bought a second pair of beats because beats for me are unrivaled when it comes to wireless headsets. Um, I have AirPods, but yeah, the Beats are unrivaled, man. I recommend them. Uh, so I bought a second pair of Beats at the airport and forgot to take them back when I got home. So yeah, I've kind of missed that take back date now. It was like, I think it was 14 days and I've missed it. Um, anyway, we've got the PS4 Pro. We've got a controller, like docking station. You can't charge it on there, but they kind of just chill on there. I do have a second one. It's downstairs with the PlayStation though. We have got my uh, uh, Ethernet splitter. Couldn't think of the word then. Uh, that thing like... You put the main internet in, in, and then it sends Ethernet to my PlayStation and my PC, and then if I want to, my laptop as well. Uh, then we've got the new PC. Bought this like a month ago. This thing's a monster. It's got an i9 10900X 10 core processor. It's got a NVIDIA 2080 Super graphics card. It's got 32 gigs of super fast RAM. Uh, it's like 
3200 MHz or 3600 MHz, I can't remember. Uh, what else has it got? It's got like two terabytes of SSD, as well as four terabytes of just normal hard drive for standard stuff. Um, what else have I got in there? Um, I don't know, it's basically souped out to the max. It's like one of the best machines I could buy at the time uh, for the budget that I wanted to pay. So, and we've got a play, and we've got an Xbox controller on top of there in case I play any games on there that I require a controller for. That's just there, uh, ready to plug in. Um, but yeah, it's, it's sick. Inside as well, it's got an Elgato in there. So it's got the new 4K HD60+, Plus, like the brand new Elgato, uh, that goes in there, which is amazing. Highly recommend putting an Elgato in your PC if you can. It is very fiddly and a pain in the ass when you first do it, but it's worth it in the end. It makes life really easy. Uh, then we've got my camera. It's a Lumix G7 with, I need to go grab the lens box to tell you what lens it is. This is the lens it's got. It's got a Panasonic 25 millimeter f1.42 AS. Basically, this is the lens it uses uh, with a lens filter on it as well. So you see how it's like totally black. Hang on, we'll go around here. You see how it's totally black? That's so it can reach its maximum aperture without taking in too much light or some crap like that i don't know i don't know anything about cameras let me go put this back oh i've got the 100k plaque on the wall i'm mentally grateful for that still um but yeah like it's it's a sick camera great lens uh blurs the background really nicely i like it a lot uh then we've got the elgato key lights not a sponsor but elgato are fantastic i've got a lot of their products i really like elgato i think their products are really good then we have got the actual setup itself so we have got the triple monitors these are what are they called again? I'm going to sit down for this. These are AOC 27 inch 144 hertz gaming monitors. They are curved as well. They're not that expensive for what they are. Like these kind of monitors, different brands, you're going to be spending like three, four hundred pounds per monitor. These are like 250, 300 per monitor, if that. So I highly recommend them. You don't need 144 hertz for your left and right monitor. I don't even use the 144 hertz. I only got these because they match and I, I insist on them matching. On the right, we've got your foot cards. Uh, on the right, we've got foot cards daily. Uh, their foot cards, which are fantastic, great quality. Highly recommend checking them out. Footcardsdaily.com, use code Haber for 10% off. We have got an insulated flask. This thing keeps water cold for like five to eight hours. It is fantastic. Uh, no matter how warm the room is, how warm your car is, how warm it is outside, it keeps water cold, which is fantastic. Highly recommend getting one of these, like five pounds from Tesco. Uh, then we have got my sunglasses. They aren't a specific brand. They were like 10 euros on holiday. Nothing nothing too special about those. Uh, then we've got these, which are blue light blocking glasses, just ordinary glasses that block blue light to help me sleep better. Uh, again, like 10 pounds of Amazon. Recommend them. They'll help you sleep a little bit better. We've got the Trust Gaming, uh, really dirty, really banged up mouse mat. Uh, we've got the Trust Gaming keyboard, Trust Gaming mouse, uh, Elgato Stream Deck, Go XLR with a Shure SM7B. Uh, this is really cool. It's just a fun toy to play around with. Got cloud lifter behind, which you don't really need for a GoXLR, but I got one anyway. Uh, well, I already had a cloud lifter, so I'm, I was just using it anyway. Um, and I think that is about it. We've got the Trust Gaming headset down there as well. So I think that's about it. Uh, that is the setup. It's going to change dramatically within the next two or three months. I'm currently recording this on August the 9th, Sunday the 9th of August right now um, that I'm recording this. It's going to change dramatically. Uh, and when it does, you guys will see that. I'll post an updated one probably, I want to say, around November, December maybe. Um, there'll be big changes. I'm um, planning on getting a new desk, planning on changing things around a lot. I'm super excited for that. So I'll post an update then. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.